Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. And today I'm gonna be doing a makeup look, and it's gonna be a red lip. That's for sure. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my eyeshadow or anything, but we'll just go with the flow. And just bear with me if you think that I'm sounding very low. I just heard about Sushant Singh Rajput, and I just cannot digest what what just happened, and it's just. It's just bad. It's just sad. It's just utterly shocking, and I cannot talk more about it. Otherwise, I won't be able to do this video. So, as you can see, I've already moisturized my skin, and the moisturizer that I use, it's from Etude House. Etude House, I think that's how it's pronounced. It's the Soon Junk moisturizer. This moisturizer has helped me so much. as you can see it's very watery it's very lightweight but it's very very hydrating you see that it literally just melts onto your skin and if you are someone who has oily skin or acne prone skin or sensitive skin then you may really really like this product give it a try it's not that expensive i mean it will last you a long time because you just need like a little bit and it just literally melts onto your face and gives you boost of hydration and i already put it but i'm just going to put it once more because why not so firstly i'm going to take my la girl pro conceal hd high definition concealer in the shade pure beige All right, I have my eyes prepped, and ah, oh, little crease. Don't want that. Now I'm just setting my eyes with some pressed powder so that the eyeshadows blend nicely. I'm going in with Makeup Revolution. London Ride or Die palette. It's literally my Ride or Die palette. I'm gonna pick up this shade right here. It's called Cookie. As you can see, I've hit the pan on that. Clearly, my favorite shade. I'm gonna take this on a fluffy crease brush so that I can buff it into my crease. And let's begin. I'm just directly popping this on my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. Okay, so next I'm going to take this shade right here and just give like a peachy tone to my eye. I'm just just popping it just below the transition shade i mean still on the crease but like a little bit below i'm going to deepen my crease because i think this is looking very flat i think i'm going to take this this shade right here I'm gonna pop that. Oh, very pigmented. Bit just below the peach eyeshadow that I put, and I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep it just in the outer third of my eye. And see how that goes. In the outer corner, and just buffing it into a winged. situation I'm going to take cookie again on that blending brush fluffy brush and I'm going to just smoothen out the edges and everything so that it's blended out smoothly I'm going to deepen my crease a little more with this shade right here this shade 
as you can see i'm really taking my time and blending my eyeshadows out because whenever you're doing a smoky look you just want you just have to make sure that your eyeshadows are blended properly otherwise it's just gonna look a major mess out there and you don't want that and yeah so i'm just making sure that my eyeshadows are blended properly i'm going in with pumpkin again and again blending everything up because blending is the real key baby such a good swatch love that <laughs> or maybe this one i think this will go with the look and it's gonna look gorgeous so i'm just gonna take that i'm gonna pop that actually i'm gonna take my ring finger I want this shadow to be full that's why I'm applying it with my hand and I'm not doing a cut crease so I don't have to bother about you know like precise application so I'm just going in I'm just applying the I swear this is the most satisfying thing ever when I do my makeup. I'm gonna click this shadow from the palette that I earlier used and it is in the shade Cola. Love that. I just tend to go a little heavy handed on the tail of my eyebrow rather than going heavy handed first over here it just doesn't make it look natural so i just carve the tail of my eyebrow first so that it just look at that Prepping your face primer. As you can see, I'm using dabbing motions to apply this primer so that all of my pores are blurred out. And I'm gonna go in with foundation. I can only see my foundation. I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hours Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. satisfying to watch someone put their foundation on I'm done with my foundation and I think it's looking pretty it's looking pretty nice and now it's time for the concealer again i'm going in with my ellie girl pro hd conceal in the shade pure beige i'm quickly gonna go with my fit 50 50 i'm gonna go in with my fit me maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade light medium I'm gonna set my face with the Fit Me powder foundation in 235 pure 
प्योर वेज I'm taking this shade under my eyes and going all the way from outer corner to inner corner. I'm going to quickly curl my lashes and put on some mascara. By the way, the mascara that I'm using is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Waterproof Mascara. It's literally the best mascara ever i've been using it since one year now and i've been loving it like you can literally build this mascara up and it just does not go you know those it does not go clumpy like other mascaras it still keeps your lashes separated but adds length at the same time I'm going to put some on my lower lashes as well because we cannot skip that Now I'm just going to tight line my eyes with some white kajal or white eyeliner so that it gives an illusion of bigger eye Now I'm going to go in with my Hoola bronzer I'm going to bronze up my face. Now I'm just cleaning the bronzer up with some setting powder. I'm going to quickly take that bronzer and con over my nose i'm going to you know that looks really bad but we're going to blend it out now i'm just dusting off the loose powder i'm going to go with the very light blush today it's from sugar it's their mini blush in the shade peach peak looks like this very beautiful very like not over the top i'm going to go in with my brush and dab the excess off put a little on my hand so that it doesn't come off as pigmented i'm just going to smile apply it on the apples of my cheeks and taking it all the way up there above my bronzer time for the red lipstick i'm using the sephora lipstick in the shade may in the shade i think it's in the shade a little magic let's see and then i'm going to go in with my highlighter the coming up now it's time for the highlighter obviously i'm going to go in with the maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten in the shade molten gold I'm going to take that on a fan brush. I'm going to actually I'm going to fix plus this fan brush as well so that we get the highest amount of highlighter. I'm just doing that. <laughs> I 
also like to highlight my nose and under my brows and also on my forehead oh my god i put a lot of highlight on if you're wearing this kind of a top with this kind of a look you do not want to forget your body so you want to highlight your collarbones as well it's very very important to put something on your body as well because it just looks very weird if you have a whole face of makeup on and you have nothing on your body and it just it just looks really flat I've added some earrings. That's it for the makeup look. I hope you enjoy. My old lovers fall into my covers where they sink one by one. Yeah, I watch them disappear to nothing. Disposable as chewing gum. There are deal breakers.